Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So it's 7.50 a.m. and my kids are sleeping. It was a long weekend. It is Monday morning and I am cleaning my glasses off here. But we're getting ready to go to a Mennonite bulk food store. It's about an hour, a little more, away from my house. And so I've got my list. My intention is to do a big grocery haul and also stock my pantry. And I went ahead and I made a master list of my pantry. The things I want to be canned, things I want in my freezers, herbs and spices, you know, things like flour, yeast, etc. So I'm gonna use this list to make my bulk foods shopping list. So I have a friend who's coming with me. She is also a mom of five. And we are gonna jam an insane amount of stuff into the back of my Jeep. So come along with me, let's do this. Got my coffee going, because that's kind of important today. I'm gonna go through, just starting from the top of the list. And I need 100 pounds of purpose flour. I like some bread flour, I don't know. Oops. Bread flour. I have sugar. Baking powder. Baking soda. Yeast. Let's see if the molasses is on sale. see. Ooh, do you want to get the, which ones don't I have? I need quick oats. Oh, I don't need any popcorn. Cocoa powder, chocolate chips. Pasta. I feel like I can't write today. Um, probably ketchup. Anyway, this is how I'm gonna do my list. I'll show you my list when I'm done.
I think this is my quick list that I was able to make in just two minutes because I was able to use my master list here and make a mini list. Welcome back. I'm looking a little worse for wear because I am much more exhausted than when I left this morning. I don't know. I'm sitting here with my flour. I have 150 pounds of flour in my Jeep that I have not unloaded yet. So I'm going to show you this here um, just so I can show you the flour and the prices. I bought flour for somebody else too. So there's an extra 50 pounds here. So that's not all mine. Um, but this is a pantry stock up. So I don't need 200 pounds of flour in my pantry. So let's this get started. This is the flour that I bought. Like I said, 100 pounds of it's for me, uh, 50 pounds is for a friend. And that was $32 for a 50 pound bag of all purpose flour. And then I also bought this bag of onions. You have size, it is sitting in a car seat. This car seat is not installed, it's just in here. But that was $39. I don't remember how many pounds that is, 50 pounds maybe? Probably, 50 pounds of onions right there. And then I also bought this. This is what they called their bread flour. I don't know if it really was, but that was $31 for bread flour. And then under here, we actually have 25 pounds of some, what are they called? Quick cooked oats. Let's see how much they were. So this just says 25 pounds quick rolled oats. I will look up how much they were on my receipt. The prices for things, just so you have an idea. Um, I spent, I think, $800 total. It's hard for me to remember because I also bought my friend some things too. So for my things alone, it was about $800. Just to give you an idea of the total cost of all I'm of to this. start with the frozen food first because it needs to go in the freezer. But I got 15 pounds of bacon and that was $59.95 for that much bacon. I also got... Um, what does that say? 12 and a half pounds for $32.95 for pepperoni. This will last my family um, months and months and months of pepperoni. I got some steak cut french fries, five pounds for $6.49. 
I also got some of these shoestring fries, and these were $5.99 for a five pound bag. Two and a half pounds of peaches. Oh, I don't see a price tag on these. I feel like these were somewhere in the six or seven dollar range, and these need to go in the freezer like right now. And then frozen blueberries. This was three pounds for $9.28. And strawberries, two and a half pounds for $6.86. I think these were in the five or six dollar range too. Two pounds of stir fry veggies, and I got two bags of those. I am out of breath. I just ran down in my basement to put all those frozen things in the freezer. This I'm gonna have to portion out, and this I will also portion out before I put it in the freezer, and I'll label those. So this I have work to do before I can put it away. So this is another one of the items at Country View that's a great deal. Um, it's five pounds of chicken that's already prepared. These are great um, just to even pan fry or pan grill. So this is five pounds of chicken for $11.99. And I got two bags of that. So that's a pretty substantial bag. This is several meals for my family. This is great for fajitas or things like that. I also got a four pound bag of these little hash brown patties that were $6. This is a five pound bag of breaded boneless chicken breast that was $10.99. So these could go on like slider sandwiches. This one is a five pound bag, I think, of chicken tenders. I can just throw this is one of those prices that I definitely know has gone up. They used to be maybe $9. And now it's 11.49. These are chicken tenders. Two packages of hot dogs. These are $6 each, and this is five pounds in each package. It's quite a bit of hot dogs. Also sticking with the meat and stuff. Um, I got some just craft looking cheese slices. This was 9.49 for three pounds. I also got these bacon bits. Um, these stay in the freezer, but this was $8.63, and I put this in, like, egg breakfast and stuff like that. I also got this Hillshire Farms Split Smoke Sausage 6-pound bag for $7.99. This is, you know, at least two meals for my family, or um, if I'm feeding a group, that's a really great deal for that much meat. And I think this might be my last meat, except for lunch meat. Um, so I got this for, I don't know, just for a snack. It was on sale for $3.99 for one and a quarter pounds of summer sausage. I also purchased one of these, aren't these called number 10 cans of mandarin oranges? And this one was $10.99. This one is sliced peaches and it was $9.99. And I got another one of sliced peaches for $9.99. I also bought some honey in bulk. I like to have honey in my coffee. And... I bought one of these to go with it. This is my favorite size spatula, $7.49. I got a garlic press, somehow I don't have one, and it was $11. I also got one of these pastry brushes, and it was $3.49. And then I got a meat thermometer, and it was $6.99. So a lot of this stuff is pantry stock up. Like This is not all food that we will eat in a week or whatever. Um, like lots of large things. So this is parchment paper. I don't even know if that has a price on it. Yep, $6.99. I also bought citric acid. This was $3.99. And then this one was $4.20 for more citric acid. They didn't have two of those. I also stocked up on pasta. So there's egg noodles and small egg noodles and different flavors and types of pasta. So this one is elbow macaroni. I generally use two to two and a half pounds for my family now for a meal. And that was $4.28. This is penne and it was $4.22. I also got some orzo pasta. This was $2.31. I have five children. So of course I bought the alphabet pasta. And this was $2.11. I got two packages of these rotini garden noodles and they, this was about two pounds each, I believe. 403 and 32, a little over two pound bag of raisin bran. I know this seems like a crazy expensive price for this, 649 for that. 
so expensive. I also bought some fig bars. I want to say these are about $13.99. Yep. This was a splurge, $18.49 for a pound and a half of shelled pistachios. So we got some chow mein noodles, $2.68. So they have a lot of bulk spices. So this one is honey mustard powder. I've never bought this before, but I was thinking it might be good on popcorn or something. So $5.27 for that. This is dried pineapple, and that is $4.52. They also sell these. I got these for my kids. Um, $1.81 for just the marshmallows from Lucky Charms. And I got some crackers, $2.79. And then two things of lasagna pasta. And these are $2.19 a piece. And then so I got the egg noodles. So this this has gone up in price so much. But $7.10 for two pounds of egg noodles. And then one is 7.22 for 7.22 for the fine egg noodles. I also got some Himalayan pink salt and some semi-sweet chocolate chips. This was three and almost four pounds actually, 12.67. And this one looks like it was a little bit more. Yep, almost four and a half pounds, 14.61. I like to buy these in bulk and keep them in a half gallon jar. I bought some cornflakes in bulk. That was $5.66 for this big bag. And I also bought some Italian breadcrumbs, $2.06. Some panko breadcrumbs, $2.50. And some long grain brown rice, $5.18. Got some homemade chicken salad. I thought I would eat this for lunch, but I ate at their little cafe instead. So um, I can just put this in my fridge. And I got some popcorn salt, $2.99. That was an impulse buy. I've never bought that before. I got a lot of spices. So some chili powder, granulated onion, dark chili powder, cinnamon, poultry seasoning, Italian seasoning, everything bagel blend. Ooh. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Taco seasoning. Italian seasoning. Poppy seeds. Toasted onion. I also bought two different kinds of yeast. Just wanted to try them to see if there was any difference that I could notice. Um, I bought a pound of each of these. So I can just put them in my freezer until I need to use them. But the price of these is going up for I sure. I only use Crisco in my house to season my cast iron. So I don't need a huge container of Crisco because that's all I use it for. Now I also got some shredded Parmesan. This was $4.37. Some goat cheese, cheddar cheese, $7. That's so expensive. This was shaved ham, $7.53 for two and a half pounds. And I also impulse bought some bologna, $5.94 for a little over a pound. I got some aloe vera for my hair and some me jeweled dates, $6.29 for a little under a pound. There's a red cabbage over here too. I was happy to see this was the normal price, $15.99 for two liters of the olive oil. I also got some of this, which was at $4.99. And then these ketchups were two for $3. So just for the pantry to stock. These were $6.99 or $7.99 for eight pounds of oranges. I showed you the cabbage. I got some wheat bread, um, two cucumbers. I don't remember how much those were. These were two for a dollar for kiwis. Got some bananas, some oyster crackers for soup, $4.59 for a pound and a half. And then uh, same over there. And then I got some spinach. Mm -hmm. 
pretzel sticks, 329. I don't remember how much the Doritos were. Probably whatever the normal price is for Doritos. And then 329 for a big bag of pretzels. And then these were on sale for $1.50 each, so I got some pudding for the kids. So I'm gonna hide that in the pantry also. A few more things over here. I got a big bottle of ranch for $6.49. And then two of these Jason body washes that were $14.99 each. And last but not least, some freezer quart bags. This is what I'm gonna to use to portion out this. Or maybe my, um, what is that called? I don't know what it's called. And then gallon freezer bags. I forgot toilet paper too. So I got a big package of toilet paper for $20.99 too. This is the name and address of the store in case you're looking for it. And here's my receipt. And then I had to go back in and pay for the flour that they forgot to charge me. So this is the flour that I bought. So my total was $900.25. There's a lot of pizza nights.